learning outcomes after studying this module you shall be able to know the conventional printing processes you will able to identify and evaluate printing process you will learn about various features observed in printed documents introduction the document examiner will encounter many different printing process in the course of analyzing documents in fact it is preferable that the forensic document examiner will be aware of printing process and their identification particularly when documents such as business letters business checks credit cards travelers check travelers document and social security cards are submitted for handwriting comparison prior to the handwriting analysis a forensic document examiner knowledgeable in printing process may find that entire question document is in fact counterfeited most likely this information would be just as helpful to the investigator as the identification of the counterfeit it is important for the forensic document examiner to have access to the genuine document or to have the sufficient literature about the genuine document and its feature in order to make judgments about question material it is also important to recognize and evaluate not only the printing process and in the construction of the document but also the security features that are present including the encoded information for this purpose the printing process discussed will be limited to the conventional or commercial processes which require the use of printing plates the most common conventional printing process found on the both genuine and counterfeit document includes offset lithography intaglio letterpress and screen printing now let us discuss about offset lithography offset lithography differs from other printing process in two ways first its success relies on the principle that oil and water do not mix and second the ink is offset from the printing plate to a rubber blanket and finally to the substrate it may be a paper or plastic surface offset lithography is a planography printing process meaning that the printed and the non printed areas of the plate resides with the same plate simply put a lithographic printing plate appears completely flat to an observer it is the nature of the surface of the plate that the determines which areas will and will not print images this is very basic chemical principle that oil and water do not mix into plate the hydrophobic image areas of the plate attract the oil based ink and repel the water while the hydrophilic non image areas of the plate attracts the water and repels the oil based ink the printing plate is mounted on a cylinder called a plate cylinder which rotates and passes dampening rollers that deliver a water based solution to the plate only the non image areas are receptive to water and receive the solution as the plate continues to rotate it passes a series of ink rollers the oil based ink is attracted to the image areas of the plate and transfers only the areas the plate is now ready to transform the image to the rubber blanket which is mounted on what is called as blanket cylinder and finally the image is transferred from the rubber blanket to the substrate an impression cylinder provides support and counter pressure for the substrate note that in the process the image begins as a right reading image on the printing plate becomes a wrong reading that is the mirror image on the rubber blanket and is transferred once more to the substrate 
as a right reading image. The process of producing a lithographic printing plate generally begins with either a conventional photograph of an original or a digital image. In conventional photography, one or more negatives are produced. With digital image production, there are generally computed data files created. In addition to the printing plates, rubber blankets, blanket cylinder, impression cylinders, inks, papers and other sources of forensic information that may be found at the suspected printing process operation. Often partially completed documents or printing mistakes will end up in a garbage and can serve as a valuable source of forensic information. While most of these items easily collected at the scene, the plate cylinder are extremely heavy and difficult to remove from a press. The printing images produced by offset lithography appears very uniform and smooth. The printing has an even consistent appearance from one side of the printed area to the other side and the edges are very clear and distinct. Offset printing is characterized by uniform sharp edges and does not indicate any evidence of embossing. Offset lithographic process can be single color or multicolor. A single color press can have a footprint that equates to the size of a standard floor model photocopier. A press of the size could easily be housed in a print shop, basement, shed or garage and requires a standard power supply. With the multicolor press, a separate ink unit and a series of three printing cylinders that is plate, blanket and impression are required for each color. A common multicolor press contains true black plus three process colors that is cyan, yellow and magenta to create a four color process printing press. As a general reference, a commercial press containing four separate unit inks with accompanying printing cylinders would be roughly 10 to 12 feet in length. A press of this size and complexity would generally be found in the print shop. When printing using offset lithography, the illusion of tonal qualities can be achieved through the use of half-tone continuous tones in an image. An example of half-tone screen can be seen by viewing the newspaper images with a microscope. Four-color process offset printing typically utilizes half-tone screen to produce image. Note the alignment of each color in a linear dot pattern. The dots are equal distinct apart from the center. However, their relative sizes vary depending on the tone required for the image. This process is most commonly confused with the color inset technology. Next we have the thermography. Thermography is an inexpensive form of raised printing that creates special embossed characteristics without the use of engraved plates. Thermography may be used on counterfeit documents to imitate the raised feel of the intaglio printing on currencies, social security cards and birth certificates. In the first step, images are produced on the substrate using either the offset lithography or letterpress printing and special non-drying inks. Next, the ink on the surface of the substrate is dusted with powdered compound or resin. The excess compound is removed by suction. Finally, the tacky ink with the powdered compound adhering to it passed under a heated element which melts the powder compound and fuses it to the surface of the substrate, hardening it when it cools. The result is printing that appears raised but with the oblique light. The multi-step process is readily distinguished from integral printing. Sometimes bubbles are apparent in raised thermographic printing.
Next we have intaglio printing. Intaglio printing uses engraved plates to produce images or text. The images are recessed or below the surface of the plate. Engraved plates can be hand engraved or chemically inched to render the wrong reading image on the plate. During the printing process, the viscous ink is applied to the surface of the plate and fills the engraved areas to resist the plate. Excess ink is removed from the surface of the substrate under tremendous pressure, example 5 to 20 tons, between plate cylinder and an impression cylinder. As a result of this pressure, the surface of the substrate may become embossed with an outline of printed material. The effect can be readily seen with oblique light. Due to the engraved nature of the plate and the thickness of the ink, the ink rests above the surface of the paper. This characteristic height of the ink can be viewed with oblique lighting or felt across its surface. Unlike any other printing process, interior printing can produce extremely fine lines and live picture and portraits. In addition, as the ink dries, it begins to settle and flow slightly along the paper fibers into a unique pattern called feathering. This individual feathering pattern helps in assisting forensic scientist or examiner to identify the original genuine pattern that was used to produce counterfeit documents. Next we have the letterpress printing. Letterpress printing produces images in much the same fashion as typographic printing or typewriting. Letterpress printing is known as a relief process, meaning that on printing plate, the image to be printed are raised above the surface, while the non-printed areas are recessed or below the plane of the printed portion. Only the raised portion of the plate, the design, numerals or text characters that are to be printed receive ink. Since letterpress printing is a direct printing process, the printing plates come direct physical contact with the substrate. In letterpress printing, the printing plate contains wrong reading information. Once the ink plate contacts the substrate, the image is transferred due to amount of pressure that is utilized in this printing process. The ink is squeezed out around the edges of the printing plate. This pressure can result in the character being embossed or raised on the reverse side of the printing substrate. The resulting image is not only sharp and grips but typically exhibits a darker edges or halo effect around the edges of the printed image or text. Letterpress printing is frequently used as the printing method of choice for general serial numbers on a variety of documents. Next is Grovier printing. Letterpress printing is produced from a surface raised above its background and lithographic uses a flat plate. In contrast, Gravier uses image carrier where the design to be printed is below the surrounding surface. The plate is inked and the ink on the surface is scrapped away with a blade called doctor blade. The only ink remaining will be in the depression and when the plate is pressed onto the paper, the ink is transferred in the shape of the image. The gravier or intaglio printing is commonly used for high quality products, especially for four color pictures. The plates are produced by two methods, engraving and photographing. Engraving is used in a blank notes and other high grade security pictures and the plates are made either by hand or in aid of machines. The method produces a design and lettering in solid lines but in limited in that picture cannot be reproduced. Photogravure is much more widely employed. It depends on the image to be printed being projected 
onto a light sensitive plate where light falls on the surface a chemical reaction take place the surface is treated with an appropriate developer so that the area where no printing image is present are made resistant to the acid then the treatment with the acid injects the depression in the image areas the acid resistant material is removed and the surface of the plate is then highly polished so that all excess ink can be removed from the non printing areas because the ink that is to be transferred to the paper has to be held for a short time in the depression in the plate large areas cannot be printed with the further operation a grid is placed between the picture to be printed and the light sensitive plate so that instead of solid areas a series of small cells is etched onto the surface when the design is printed the ink from the cells overlaps so that continuous tone is produced by varying the depth or width of the cell different densities of color can be obtained full color printing is achieved by this method described for lithography using three or more color each on different plates next we have screen printing screen printing also commonly known as silk screen printing requires the use of tensils where the image areas are porous and the non image areas are not porous the stencil commonly consists of a thin sturdy fabric or screen made up of polyester silk or stainless steel the images are typically produced using a photographic process the stencils containing a photographic emulsion is exposed to the light and resin the emulsion is again taken away from the printed areas leaving the hardened emulsion in the non printed areas the resulted screen contains a right reading image of the area to be printed the screen is then placed in direct contact with the substrate to be printed screen printing ink is extremely thick and is spread across the stencil in an even film with aid of squeeze the ink is forced through the pores of the screen creating images design or text screen printing is recognizable by the appearance of a thick layer of ink and jet edges or grid pattern that are result of the pattern of the fabric or screen screen printing is most frequently encountered on the plastic substrates particularly genuine and credit cards and driver's licenses next we have identification of source of printed material lithograph printing methods and photocopying process both use the documents as a source for their images the discovery of a source of a reproduced counterfeit or copy is an important aspect of forensic document examination to make a lithographic copy of a document photographs are made of a particular genuine document if this is one of many all of which are identical there will be no indication of which was used however if other marks have been made like serial numbers written entries or rubber stamp impression for example these will either have to be incorporated or will have to be removed at the advert stage in the plate preparation if they are left their presence will provide clear evidence that a particular document has been copied assuming this copy is still extant can be compared any writing on the original could not be exactly matched to any other and its position and position of the stamp impression will not precisely the same on any other possible source if the identifying marks have been removed 
during the plate preparation the background printing occupying the same area will also be removed it may be impossible to take out all of a signature or other return entries especially if these cross over printed lies or patterns the position of these sign of eraser or traces of writing can be advocate to identify copy document it is similarly possible to identify parts of serial number that have been incompletely removed accidental marks from stains or faults in the paper or deliberately introduced variable features may be reproduced in a counterfeit and will affect a means of identification of the source of counterfeit an example of this occurs when the randomly spaced colored fibers introduced as a security device are photographed along with the other details of genuine document in some instances printing plates may be made up from the photographs of more than one source it is therefore possible to print a counterfeit with some features of one original and and others of another the presence of both sources traced to possession of a suspect would therefore be very significant counterfeit documents can be compared directly with the suspected sources such features as a signature or stamp impression that have been reproduced can be aligned with their originals using transparencies made for the purpose or by examination under a comparison projector sometimes plates or other components of printing processes are found can be compared with the printed documents this is the best done by photographing the image as it appears on the component and making a transparency that can be compared with the document defects and other characteristics of the printing can link documents together with certainty to the plate that printed them now let us recall what we have learned in this module it is important to recognize and evaluate not only the printing process used in the construction of the document offset lithography is a planography printing process meaning that the printed and non printed areas of plate resides with the same plane thermography may be used on counterfeit document to imitate the raised feel of the intaglio printing on a currency social security card and birth certificate offset printing is characterized by uniform sharp edges and does not indicate any evidence of embossing offset lithographic press can be single color or multicolor embossed printing is raised from the surface of the paper it is produced by two plates one with the image to be printed in relief and other with the image depressed into the surface thank you